$5 million. And still in first place with the Hunger Games bringing in $11.2 million, bringing his total to $409.5 million. Jeez. It's Scott. He's already Jones. got 400. And so ends Are week six. Me? And that is your movie draft minute for the week of April 30th, 2012. <laughs> People in the chat room are shouting for Predator Fever. Catch it. No, I think Beef is saying, quote the raven, hey, stop jacking off that goat. <laughs> I don't think you could say that, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, come on, That's man. Not okay. Show some professional broadcast standards for yeah, crying out seriously. loud. Seriously. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Um, I think... The Avengers is going to put me ahead of Scott Johnson this week. Oh, dude. Wait, this this week? This week. No way. He's, He's going to open it $400 million, million, million in one no week. week. Actually, no, you're right. I won't catch him this week, but within within two weeks, I'll be in front. Yeah, man. Uh, by the way, uh, I ran the numbers, Justin, and as much as you love to mock me, it's looking like <laughs> a, as long as the four movies I have in May total $400 million, of which MIB3 is alone projected to make over $200 million on its own, as long as I do, I'm still in this thing. Because I spent, I spent $68. That's right, Brian. You're still in this <laughs> right, thing. Shut up. Bro. Hey, you're a real you solid fellow. Why don't you go fellow. find a goat? <laughs> Why don't you go tickle a pug, Brushwood? <laughs> well, that's it, folks. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Love you guys. Bye. This is a great, this is I great. apologize. I'm sorry. This was the best episode ever. <laughs> Oh, Jerry's beard, oh Jerry's <laughs> beard, I've loved you since you first appeared. Nice Some people laughed and called you weird, but, <laughs> but I hope you never get sheared. Oh Jerry's <laughs> beard, Jerry's beard, Jerry's no. I press pause just in time on that. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for this episode of NSFW. Until then, if you want to catch Tom Merritt, he'll be giving birth to another version of Tom Merritt that was in the musical Equus. Was it a musical? I don't think it was. I, it was. I don't like to think it was a musical. Hey, you, Roman. Mr. Horseman, <laughs> what's going on there? You're eating hay. I'll show you who the boss is as I jerk my wiener. <laughs> <laughs> not What's that? You're not impressed, huh? I will break this glass and then I'll take it, Mr. Horse, and shove it in your face. His hand got yellow. NSFW is the greatest thing that ever happened in my life. I think the title should be Tony Edit This All Out. <laughs> no, my favorite was uh, episode whatever, uh, or NSFW 125, episode not found. <laughs> oh my god. single moment without Brian Brushwood. Oh, I'd rather be dipped <coughs> in honey and fed oh to a big ass box. It really did make me angry. And I have no idea why. Well, because you've, seen, you've heard those radio guys before. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's I think why. it's just a really annoying voice. I think there's not really yeah, a mystery I mean, I'll, I'll, but, but there's all kinds of annoying voices. Uh, no, 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 I'll tell you what. Like, uh, look up uh, in Austin. Because that voice, that, that whenever I've done it, I'm channeling a guy in Austin. Maybe that's named it. Named Todd Jeffries. If you look oh, up yeah, I know Todd, Todd Jeffries. Do you? Yeah, well, I don't know him yeah, but I know of him. Yeah, it's like it's you know it's like eleven oh seven is Todd Jeffries. Todd Jeffries. Todd Jeffries. And there's tons of guys like Todd Jeffries. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can hear Todd Jeffries. <laughs> Five ninety KLBJ. Jerry is Ace to Tex Doula. Five ninety KLBJ. Todd. Tom Jigglestock's goat. A suggestion for the episode title. <laughs> What is this? Let me see. My news was that uh, we don't have to worry about the BSE outbreak. It's not impacting the market. Exist.
Yes. Ghosts, UFOs, witches, astrology, and the belief that they themselves were once other people. The Todd and Don Show, weekday mornings Todd at 10. Don There's Don a ghost in my house. house. You're being serious. I'm very serious. I'm There's very a young serious. Young serious. woman that runs around Todd upstairs in my house. No, that's your fantasy. <laughs> that, that's a fan. That's called a fantasy. That's not a ghost. The Todd fantasy. and Don Show, weekday mornings yeah. at 10 on um, News Radio 590. Is, uh, I actually think Todd and Don is the best show on that. I'm getting that free motivational station. speaking from my whole company just listening to the Todd and the, the Todd and Don uh, Show, Star weekday mornings World. at 10. Don't you feel like right now you could step CGRS, out of that building and CGRS, change CGRS, the world? CGRS. I woke up this morning. I was feeling blue, but they I listened to, to you guys, and I am Live fired up. Are you a winner? Wait, no, that's winner. Let me hear you yell out. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. This is the most confusing thing that's ever happened in my life. I think I'm having a stroke. And 107. 107.9 KGSR. KGSR. But there was also a progressive station on the other end from 101X. Mm. Near KGSR. Near I, I used to work for Rock 107 WPGU. Wow. Uh, I don't think I don't think a single person has been able to derail a show since Cheeto wrote that line in the <laughs> chat room. Like I've che- never. Cheeto started it. Yeah, Cheeto did start it. Utterly, utterly destroyed us. <clears throat> uh, that was a really good. Was it? Was that entertaining to watch? Because it was entertaining to do. I I'm hope. sorry, everyone. <laughs> I was, <laughs> if Brian hadn't died in a fire before the show, <laughs> things might have been different. Uh, can we can we change the slogan of NSFW to "We sincerely apologize"? <laughs> well, like, it used to be a joke. Like I think, like we did a good show, um, but we would like joke around about like, "Oh, we're like not good," and now we actually just do a terrible show. <laughs> no, I, actually, I would disagree, man. Uh, these last couple episodes, I'll put, I'll put. Uh, which was funnier, last week or this week, from the chat room? If anyone's going to give us type a Type last week or type this week? Yeah, which last one week you was, was better. Which was the best episode? Th- and which don't, was don't spare my feelings if, if you think it was last week. Wow, dude, a lot of people say this week was better <laughs> for sure. There's some last weeks, definitely some last weeks. <laughs> think it's They're problem. saying Hot Problems was the best ever. Man, that was one that we felt was rough at the time. It yeah, seems, throw up, it's throw up pretty fifty fifty. Give it uh, the last three weeks. You had you had hot problems, which was an episode that we personally felt like was an off episode. Last week we felt good about, and then this week was this week, which was which was the best. Whoa, mute Shannon, bam to bam. Whoa, mute Shannon, bam to bam. I think I, I you know nothing will ever beat Hotel Rwanda for dogs. That was our fourth <laughs> episode. And the one, the one that and got, it was noted. It was noted uh, mostly for Corey Coleman coming on and saying the N word a record fifty times. Well, and it was. And what's funny is like you could see like uh, Tony was starting off. He edited out the God in the in the G Dam, and uh, and then like at some point he clearly just gives up and it's just <laughs> it's like half edited. Bleep 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 bleep. Ah, yeah, whatever. We ran out of bleeps it. and then they just go. He probably ran out of bleeps. <laughs> <laughs> exhausted them. <laughs> yeah. No, that show didn't get us, almost get us pulled, because we were told to curse on that episode. That well, was yeah, when they it, were deciding. We were specifically told by Dane, like, no, no, you guys have an sp- explicit tag. Go ahead and curse it up. And so we told them, we're like, hey, we've been told specifically that you guys can curse it up. And they, apparently the boys over at Spill were able to take it to a new level that we had never seen before. And... Uh, and then, oh, yeah, yeah, do you remember the whole bit where we had Danger Dane Golden call and chew us out? I do remember. I remember that that had to get removed from the BBpedia because it was showing up too high on the search results for oh, yeah. Dane Golden. When Dane, after Dane left Twit, he's Aww. trying to get work at it. And Danger Dane is like, one of the top things is the intrigue of him as, as, as evil. Because you, you don't want to su- suppress stuff like that, but at the same time, if you're trying to get a job, you're like, you know, guys, you could just kind of lower that for a while. That'd be cool. Yeah. That's not, uh, uh, we also, that happened to another friend of the show that we can't say who, right? Oh, so what? there's a poll. There's a, there's a female, there's a female friend of the show that was asking us to remove her oh, prominence. Oh, yeah, no, I think I remember that. Yeah, because it was showing up uh, too high when people were searching for her. So they had to just change it to, to her nickname. <laughs> Fat <laughs> to Betty? Delicious. They, yeah, they changed it to Delicious. Yeah, look at this, man. 59% Now, there's hardly week. hardly a statistical significance yet. We got to get some more votes. <clears throat> yeah, we need... We get need in there get... in the straw poll. Strawpoll.me slash 578. By the way, how great is this straw poll thing? The fact that, like... That's yeah, all right. Such <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, can I just say this? All right, GPF dude, the entire show has just been saying, whoa, turn up, jury, blam, blam, whoa, turn up. Oh, and it doesn't even fit the effing rhyme scheme. Can I, uh... I really love straw poll, Biggins. I'm just kidding. Um, um can, can, can I go back and, uh, and visit the... Remember, remember how I had the update of that one guy who was, was ragging on you, Justin, and ragging on me and had zero followers? Yes. We got it. We got ties <laughs> straw. Uh, yeah, I don't even remember his name, but uh, but I I do know that <clears throat> that we have a new contender. Where is? They're saying nearly the best NSFW apps ever. ever. Uh, let me go to Twitter. Okay. Dot com. What? Uh, what What's going it? on? What? Hello. Collar. Tom Jiggle Stocks. Collar, you're on the air. Hey, you're you're on Tom Jiggle Stocks. It's 428 in the AM. Yeah, that one doesn't bother me. See, it's when I do it. Yeah. It's no, cool. No, but when you were doing it earlier, it did bother me. Why? You weren't doing it the same way as you were earlier. You weren't think, doing is, the... Is, 30 is, minutes is, past the hour. And you Tom, weren't doing the thing. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, that's the part that bothers me. 30 minutes past the hour. It's Tom Jiggle Stocks down in the morning. Um, time for <laughs> Blanky and the Whip. <laughs> Blanky and the whip. Blanky and the whip. Uh, hey, whip, I think that we should go over the news of the <laughs> hey, day. Hey, Davey. Oh, yeah, whip. I'm the whip. <laughs> Obviously. So, like, all the whip can do is shout, what's his name? On an uh, unscheduled trip to Afghanistan, President Obama met with President Hamid Karzai and signed a new strategic back. Yeah, the whip. Somebody was saying uh, Twit Ain't Nothing But Pitches and Shows was, was their favorite because it made him cry. Oh, uh, well, I was, know what it was. That was the birth of Steve McTillitutor. Tudor. I got to yeah. tell both of you, and, and I wish Veronica were here too. Uh, the biggest thing I miss about Game On, not being on Twit Network That's anymore. That's gay he was. Is that I can't go in the chat room and act like a troll. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was the best thing. Oh wait, there's another one. Yeah, there right is. There. Yeah. Bit, and there's a church key for it. No, I, I, I would. I, Jerry knows this because he was always yeah. in the chat room trying to productively uh, help the audience out. And I would just go in there and just. You would. I would troll, just say man. crap. You, it, you were a delightful <laughs> troll. Um, yeah, no, that was pretty good. I thought you were gonna say, Tom, that your your uh, favorite part about Game On, or your least favorite part about Game On not being on anymore, was not getting uh, drunken. Calls from uh, <laughs> ego shattered Brian and Justin as they <laughs> look so it. how bad we was did. the show? We're like, will you please just rub our backs? We feel so lonely. She's so pretty, Tom. Well, let me tell you she why you guys screwed you. up. <laughs> oh my gosh, people are saying. Uh, I think Daphne should continue. Da I I'll be honest, no lie. Favorite thing from Game On, Daphne, for me. Uh, absolutely. And that's no disrespect to Max Trollbot. That's no disrespect to the five. Uh, it's no disrespect to any other element, but I absolutely love that segment. To the five? Your top five. I don't oh. want to call it top five because that's competitive with my canceled show. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, sir. <coughs> uh, no, I, I would say there, there's a good chance that we haven't seen the last of Daphne. I... Uh... A ratings war of canceled shows. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. There's still there. I I wish. Do you realize? Do you realize we're 125 episodes into the NSFW phase of the experiment? If you want to go ahead and include the 40 something episodes of BB Live Show, we're coming up on 200 episodes of something precious and special that I still to this day do not understand. It's not us. We are but a vessel for Chat Realm. To I mean. Look at today. Half the half the crap that was super freaking hilarious was not was not us. Well, and here's the thing, and and th this is not meant to be a backhanded compliment at all, but it's going to sound like it at the beginning. Go ahead. The audience you're isn't like, that big. Like, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you all. No, the audience isn't that big. But they're relatively speaking, <laughs> it's much bigger than hold on, some. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right? Real quick, real quick. You cut over, cut over to this. We got the the corrected uh, Jason Howell. <laughs> 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 I 
the audience isn't actually even as big as Gay Mon's audience. <laughs> no, not it's by a long shot. It's not about the size of the audience. It's about the passion. It was, it, I p- call it passion, call it what you will. This, this audience is smart, they're clever, they're funny, and they interact. That's what we loved about Buzz Out Loud. That audience was smart, it was funny, it was clever. How's that show and doing now, by the way? Yeah. It's <laughs> so, that show made it like 1,500 episodes or so. <laughs> well, it, it, give us a few more years. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was actually oh, about to oh. say that oh. like, my favorite part about the chat room is that they are also uh, really mean. And then Brian did something really mean, and I thought that was really funny, and I realized that's why Chat Realm gets away with it. You get the audience you deserve. Absolutely. Your audience is a reflection of your show, always. No, yeah. I love it, because I'm no mean drugs, about things. Man. I think, they're, I think very just, mean things are very no, it's funny. it's not okay. It's not cool. Uh, come on, buddy. You got, you got some cash on you? No, You're going to want these. No, these are good. I don't do that no, anymore. These I stick to are, Lagunitas. Come on. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, I do that. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, use it up. now. I don't want to touch it. That is, is one freaking of those. awesome. And now, where did these come from? These came from some fans who are doing geocaching stuff. And by the way, Tony, edit all this in. Uh, they, they do geocaching stuff, and they want to have NSFW coins. Let's see if those we can are get, so we, amazing. How, uh, do we have a camera that we could bring over here and get super up close on these? Uh, All right. Take a, they're, they're slightly smaller than a yeah, quarter. Yeah, there's no light over there. What do you say, Alex? You got a way to... Oh, wait, there we go. Here. Yes! Can you take it out of the package, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, I think that'll help. <laughs> uh, that's, that doesn't look so impressive right there, does it? Look at that colored blob. Look at that blob. That's, this really does look like a QVC commercial right now. Normally five thousand dollars. You're gonna get these right now if you call. Oh, you're for gonna love these. Nine 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 nine. Beautiful metal of some variety. Yeah, these you are hand tooled. I'm sorry, my producer just told me we are authorized to drop these down from $5,000. You've actually watched this. At all. $19.99. <laughs> $19.99 for this beautiful NSFW commemorative coin. Or I'll tell old you what, John you can't, Smokey. You can't J.O. a goat on live TV for that kind of money. <laughs> you can't J.O. a goat for that. Uh, here, get over, get over right here. Also, if you call now... You can also get commemorative old John Smokey. You know, Look at I, the spoons. I, Look at the spoons on that. You see the, the spoons? It's the actual it. spoons were used as a model for that. The fedora. You can tell that's genuine faux train tracks all the way around the side. Just like old John Smokey rides. Just go to 1-800-LADY-PEAK and one of our fine... People will get you an old. It's, it's going to be embarrassing if your friends have these and you don't. You know, uh, my granddaughter was going to school and they're going nuts for these. People are saying that they're wearing they're them. They're the modern day pogs. They're 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 saying that uh, they're even better than the pogs because pogs. Pogs wear out. Pogs bend. Pogs, pogs burn. Pogs were made of cardboard. Pogs can be pissed on and decomposed. They know, you, you know, you look back. <laughs> On the ages, there was the Bronze Age, there was the Iron Age. There was the Pog Age. We're in the Information Age. There was never a cardboard age. Do you know why? Because cardboard degrades. And That's these right. Will live the Romans forever. had cardboard. Where are they now? When you see these coins, you are going to literally drop a load in your pants. <laughs> I'm not you sure that, that it <laughs> you will. them to order them. You will defecate in the streets. And s- I think this took a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they are utterly delightful. If you're bound up, order these coins. <laughs> the FDA has not evaluated these claims, but I can tell you, my cousin got one of these. He dropped a load right there. <laughs> and he definitely <laughs> dropped a load. <laughs> <laughs> that coin's caught in the phantom zone. <laughs> that coin was a criminal, <laughs> sentenced for all eternity. <laughs> Those are pretty dope. 
Does you know, say dope? Tom Jigglesworth has a full collection of these coins. <laughs> Tom oh. Jigglesworth has a full collection of the totally dope NSFW coins. Justin's board. 278 in the AM. Someone turned Justin off. Hey, what? let me ask you something. Blam, blam, blam. What the jury? Blam, blam. Hey, so, uh, you know, the, uh, the NSFW, or I'm sorry, the, the weirdthings.com audience. Like, are these spendable? <laughs> they're expendable. <laughs> they used to be spendable, but they're not spendable anymore. Uh, <clears throat> So here's something that's interesting. Please log this tag at. Yeah, the geocaching stuff on the back. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they're all individually stamped, and that you can you can leave them all over you. Mine is two one two three. Oh, well, I shouldn't give you the number. Yeah, then the, you could... actually go ahead and give it, and then they'll <laughs> falsely move it all over America. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. No, let's have the fastest, let's scam the fastest moving tag ever. Give your tag and then everybody go log it. No. I don't Say, get... gentlemen. Yes, sir. Uh, we're getting Chinese food. Are you, either of you interested? That's racist. Justin, would you like us to mail order these? Yeah, give food? me a favor. Get some, me some egg drop soup and just leave it in the fridge. <laughs> I'll be there in a few you minutes. You got it. <clears throat> I'll take that as a no. No, I'm fine. We ate right before. Yeah, yeah. We had Mexican food. We we had a different racial stereotype. Thank you, food. Alex. Uh, Thank you, though. So so here's what I wanted to say. Yeah, yeah. Weird things. We we have not been good about doing regular weird things episodes. Mm -hmm. And then, like, at some point, I guess one of us, like, dusted off, like, we found in the corner the ledger of how many people were, were listening to weird things. And we're like... Holy cow, a lot of people listen to weird things. So we dusted it off, and now we're, we're making sure to do it every single Monday night. We broadcast it live. And, in fact, even when... I mean, hold on. Other way. I actually had an idea, Look at that. Tom. I, I, I wanted to run by you. All right. So, Because you guys, you and Veronica Belmont, record the Sword and Laser audio yes. on Monday. We right? Do. Yes. Do you, want, do you want to do an indie, an independent indie rock block? God damn it, Brian. I'm like pitching an idea here. I just and you had just immediately awesome run idea. right I over just, it. I just had this awesome idea that popped into my mind that I totally thought of myself. So here we do. We do like the whole big thing. We do me, Brian, and Andrew on Sword and Laser and you guys on Weird Things. How's that for an idea that I just had? Oh, like, wait. Oh, you're doing like nah, a I heard crossover. this idea from Brian already. <laughs> Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm into it. If if you can, if, if Veronica's into it, I'm into it. I can't make decisions without her. Veronica. Doesn't like sure. us. Yeah. Well, now really we've publicly mentioned it, so I, she'll I have think to will. Gone public with the real reason. I kept farting on stage. <laughs> In fact, you can go back. You can find several moments where she's reacting, but trying her best to be pro. Yeah. She's not. Well, the weird part is she's the one who loved Taco Bell so much, and yet I was the one. It's a transference. Who ruined the show? It's magic. Uh, so if we come on weird things, uh, what do we talk about? Uh, well, that will depend on, on what Andrew finds. It's going to be some weird stuff, though. I'll, I'll right. guarantee you that. It's, uh, dude, it is, it's awesome. If you guys don't listen to weird things, I'm you should talk about angels. <clears throat> we actually have. There might be. We caught Maybe even the angel killer. The new book from Andrew Maine, available on Amazon, only 99 cents. Tom Jigglesworth, he had 42 <laughs> bucks an hour. I am so glad that this Many Faces of Veronica Belmont became a thing because it totally bailed me out for the fact that, uh, like, this, this is the only one that's not actually Veronica Belmont, but, uh, but we, were, we were looking at old commercials with... Uh, with Scott Johnson, and uh, and then I, the phrase I used when this happened, I was like, and then she becomes Veronica Belmont, and it was like, oh, Brian, whoa, why would you say that? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, she's just got a really expressive face like Veronica, and Cheeto started putting this together, and every time there was another Veronica Cheeto. face, it got Again. added. He built a case for me, is what I'm trying he built to say. This I'm just saying, as somebody said in the chat room uh, or chat room, uh, that this is now the Cheeto show featuring Tom, Brian, and some other guy. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, if if you call that some other guy Justin Robert Young, I can get behind that. Well, too effing Is that a bad. Proposition? <laughs> hey, by the way, we need to do the stupid things for this episode, yeah, right? Come on, yeah. I, I love those stupid things. Too. Uh, good luck. <laughs> good luck. I'll watch you. you wow, you're gonna knock that beer over. Nope. 
Nope. Oh, nope. No. Yeah. Yep. yep. No. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe. Scott Lynch. <laughs> I just... Uh, by the gods, you did it. Whoa, right. mute Shannon. Bam, blah, bam. So, uh, do we get a final vote on this? They, they agreed that this Can was Can we better? do the show over? I didn't like it. Uh, sure. The internet's cool to do over. <laughs> <laughs> I love this photo right here in that it just tells such a awesomely erroneous story. <laughs> Are you showing this photo? There you go. Wait, that's all you're going to show? For some reason, Jammer B is not thrilled about showing this one on the internet. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be either if I were him. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay. <clears throat> we are, we are, that's right. true. We are uh, not in Jury's League. What, what, what are we, what are we calling this episode? Uh, a close the a of our own? Stop J-O-ing that go. <laughs> one 800 lady <laughs> <peak>. <laughs> Tomception. <laughs> Tomception's good. I like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Booze time, silly fest. <laughs> <laughs> this is NSFW episode 125, recorded on May 1st, 2012. Tomception. 1-800-LADY-PEAK. This episode of NSFW show is brought to you by 1-800-LADY-PEAK. <laughs> Oh, uh, can, can we can we go ahead and uh... Uh, or maybe uh, uh, the new? Actually, there is. Uh, I, I'm glad to announce for Twit that actually there is a new late night show that we're adding to the network, um, Bulky and the Wope, which is a new uh, Balkan language podcast, and uh, it, we're very excited to add there them to the. There are four bits. All right. J-O-A. Jammer B, you ready? <laughs> so good. On this episode of NSFW, we're joined by Tom Merritt. What can go wrong? Done. That's good. That's good. Uh, hey, can you can you, you know, give one eight hundred lady been peak? Great working with you guys. <laughs> it was a good run. It was, it was, we really yeah. had a good time. I'm, you know, wow. sorry that you won't be able to rent my apartment because I'll have to move into it. <laughs> we had some, we had some great time. We knocked them on their asses, didn't we? Yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you about the rabbits. Can you see them, Justin? Can you see them? <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh yeah one take jerry that's what they call me one take it's all in need it, uh, you got our sponsor 1-800-LADYPEAK.SquareSpace.COM all right here we go you ready yep yep this episode of nsfw show is brought to you by 1-800-LADYPEAK bringing you a new opportunity to check inside of women's bathrooms even if you're a man Call 1-800-LADYPEAK.COM and use offer code NSFW. Hey, who's in there? <laughs> yes, yes, bring it at home. One take, Justin. Yeah. Holy cow. That was pretty good. It's pretty good. That's why they used to call him One Minute Jury. <laughs> <laughs> That's why his old girlfriends used to call him the ladies one, minute minute one, one Minute Jerbs. <laughs> one minute, oh really, again? That's what they used to call you. <laughs> That's selfish, is what they used to call, they call me. Uh, well, I used to have the guarantee. One minute or less or your pizza's free. <laughs> and so I'd finish in under a minute and they'd be like, seriously? And I'd be like, but at least I brought you this pizza. <laughs> I'm not going to charge you for it. Otherwise, if I would have done well, I would have. we would have had to go Dutch. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I just got a text. Your fourth bit was the Tribunal of Guilty Pleasures. Ah, the Tribunal. That's what the fourth bit was. What how, you, how did you know that? How did the text messenger... Because we said it at the beginning, and oh, that's we why did. I kept saying, no, there were four bits. <laughs> there were no, four right, bits. right, right, Tribunal. <laughs> I love myself a Tribunal, too. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> By the way, Ryan Alcott tweeted us saying, I'm drunk again, but great show, man. <laughs> Oh, that was Drunk Guy from yep. last week. Yep, 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 yep. That's right. 
remember. All right. Well, everybody, I think we've had a good time tonight. Yeah, dude, Dr. Oh, Feelgood's having yeah, a good time. All right. Wow. <laughs> B futures are steady. Dan Dirks is like, it's all right. I'm hurt. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. So, uh, oh, oh, because you were crapping on straw. Pool. I know. I was kidding. Dan's actually the best person on the planet. Jokes. Yeah, Dan is awesome. Dan is incredible. Uh, this episode was incredible. One eight hundred Lady Peak is also <laughs> incredible. See, old John Smokey was was posting on Twitter in the middle of the show. It couldn't be you. I already told you, man. That was a that was a that was a good. Uh, it was good. Yeah, it was, it was good, right. eh? Could have been better. <laughs> Such an asshole. People are saying this was funnier than last week, and last week was one of our best episodes ever. Yeah, I'm harder on myself, you know? Not as hard or, as Tom or, Jiggles Or uh, observant. <laughs> I'm an accurate observer. I'm a reliable narrator. All right. We're shutting it down. We'll do, well, we'll do, uh, <clears throat> we'll do the other one. What? <laughs> what just happened? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, is yeah, this a young Let's, let's do the other one. <laughs> oh, we showed that on TNT. The other, oh, no, that's his growing up geek. Yeah, yeah. Those are all young. Those now. are adorable. Yeah. See, he looks awesome. There are four bits. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, so do you want, hey, Justin, did you watch Cabin in the Woods? I did. Yeah, he did. You I have anything we're... that you wanted to say about it that we didn't say on frame rate? I saw it. Yeah. I didn't, well, I didn't watch frame rate. What'd you guys say? We said, said it was it all right. <laughs> An old jerk ass would love it. <laughs> uh, no, I really liked it. I think, um, wow. the more I think about it, the more I think that if you don't, like the idea of horror movies, the less you're going to really like it. I will uh, say, in, in response to our conversation in the restaurant while you were here, yeah, going into it blind, like entirely blind, I think would be better. Yeah, like he begrudged. You said, you said that the first scene. No, that was sets Brett's up point. Brett's that, point was that the first yeah. scene is a spoiler. What you said that uh, allegedly. <laughs> no, you said. <laughs> you said, like, the first scene sets up the whole second plot, which is a sci fi plot. And then, like, like he wished he hadn't heard that going into it. I wish I hadn't known that going into it. Right. It's not like you said that quote, but there was, yeah. there was you know, the first scene, you know, is basically a spoiler. There's a secondary sci fi plot, is something that either you or Brett had said. And, and there were things on Twitter. It sounds people. like something stupid, I would say. Well, and there were things on Twitter that people said, too, uh, about like, oh, the secondary story is the best. And, you know, like, oh, there's this spo you know, there's a there's a great celebrity cameo. Somebody said that to me on Twitter. But so see, there, even knowing that crap, there was all this stuff where it's like, OK, I didn't feel spoiled going into it. But after I was done, I was like, I liked it. But I didn't love it. And I think I might have loved it if I'd gone in. Well, and I, I don't think surprised. so. And what, no? I don't right. think so. What, what, I, <clears throat> what I said, Justin, was that <clears throat> I really, really liked the movie, but I loved the fact that the movie existed. Like, I loved the idea of the movie even more than I now loved the Now people are mad at me for explaining that because it spoiled them who haven't seen the movie yet. And to you, I say, it's been out for three weeks. Yeah, in your face. We played the rules <laughs> I mean, of spoilers. Well, what are you was, doing up this late my, anyway? My point, Shouldn't you be studying? Yeah. My, my, my point about the talking about the first F-wording scene of the goddamn movie. Uh, <laughs> is that it's the first F-wording scene of the GD movie. And like by definition, it is the least possible spoiler that you could have in the film. Like anything you've seen in the trailer is more of a spoiler. Yeah, no, I agree with what, that. Than what, than what the first scene of the movie is. That being said, uh, I think if you haven't seen it and there's something stopping you from seeing it, revealing what is not shown in the trailer, what is deliberately hidden in the trailer, I think to the detriment of the film, of people being interested in going to see the film, 
it revealing that little bit, just what happens in the first scene is enough that would entice people to go see it. All that being said, I think the film's very cool. I enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed the dialogue. I very much enjoyed like all the horror movie uh, kind of shout outs and everything. I enjoy the fact that people are making a think piece about horror movies in this kind of way. But in terms of the point they're making, I kind of disagree with it. And I think it's an incredibly arrogant movie to make. I think the point of the movie as a message is very arrogant. Wait, you thought the point of Cabin in the Woods was arrogant? The overarching point that they're making, I thought, was was very arrogant. Yes. Hey, look, Ooh. look down there. It's spoilers. Yeah. We're like right on the edge of them. Because <clears throat> my response to you was almost, what? The idea that the f- description of the end of the movie right. is arrogant? Well, yes. You know, that's exactly what I was like. Wait, I why would that be that. arrogant? I don't understand that at all. I mean, we can talk about it in a place where people, like, would. I think that... It's a great movie to talk about because I think it is a movie to be talked about because it is very clearly a message movie. Um, well, what, what is the message? I don't want to talk about. I mean, well, like it, that's the problem. To say yeah. the message spoils can, can, the movie. Can you can you throw up a spoiler zone graphic? Jammer B's not even there. Sorry, folks. It's gonna go on all night now, and in vague language, <laughs> and obfuscation. Because that's the way we do it. So oh, Burks here. Yeah. Burkle. Okay, look, there's a cabin. It's yeah. in the woods. Yeah, great. Now everyone knows. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Here's my favorite part about Merman. the discussion of that movie is that Merman was the it best part. spurred <laughs> the angriest, most sexist conversation I've heard about objectifying a human being between Katie Moe and Eileen over breakfast. Uh, just two women that were furious by the fact that but Ford Eileen hadn't did not seen take it off his shirt. Wait. No, but upon hearing that he did not remove his shirt, she was furious. Wait, that who did not remove his Thor. shirt? Oh. Oh, I thought they were I thought it was gonna be the reverse. I thought they were pissed off because the girl did remove it her shirt. It kinda no. made me, Brett, and Justin a little uncomfortable how they were objectifying men. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> no, not even, in the like, least. What, what, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> but they were, they were honestly both disappointed. Katie Moe having seen it, Eileen not having seen it. Like, she's like, oh, he doesn't take off his shirt. Katie's like, no, he didn't even take off his shirt. I'm like, oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does suck. <laughs> that is some BS. <laughs> That's all right. It is kind of spoilery, but not essential to the plot. All right, but it's, okay. he doesn't take off his shirt. Yeah. Everybody, spoilers are a coming. Seriously, explain how this is, uh, <laughs> uh, and and what what did you call it? Arrogant. An arrogant. It's an arrogant movie. Bastard. It's an arrogant script, I would say, probably more specifically. I would say self-referential. I don't see arrogant at all. It, it, it is. All it right, is, all right. Are we gonna? Are we gonna really? Here's the thing. Are if we you gonna don't do want this? To, major spoilers. <laughs> Then turn off the goddamn stream because this is, it's about to get, it's about to get real spoilery S, up in this. Place. S is about to get real right yeah. now. Yeah. S is going down in clay class. Um, here's the point of Cabin in the Woods as I can understand it and correct me if you guys see it differently. If you're just turning on the stream right now, you're about to be spoiled for Cabin in the Woods. Yep. Yeah. Horror movies are A, uh, interesting to us because run, they are Burke, Burke, run. run, Burke, run, run, Burke. Don't oh, Burke, listen. Burke, Burke literally ran like out with really, his fingers like, in his ears. Like he really stuck his fingers in his ears yeah. and ran out of the room. Go ahead. All right. Horror movies are interesting to us All right, I'm out because here. they uh, speak specifically to our human nature. B, that the trend in horror movies has become artistically less than what they have been. And that America still makes... <laughs> Are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm I was shaking telling my head because I disagree with you. People who have muted that I will tell them when it's okay to listen again. Right, but but okay. I was shaking my head because I think you're full of horse crap right now. But go ahead. I think okay. you're a couple of goat. Horror goat movies season. are are uh, declining in quality, and specifically uh, as uh, it results to slasher films or, or sorry, uh, torture porn kind of movies, the hostels and the saws of the world. Sure. Uh, Three, that amongst all that, America still makes the best horror movies and we suck at it. And 
for that it's not going to get better and that it, it's a it, we've it's a genre that has eaten itself. I could not disagree more. I did not th- feel like that was the message or the point of the movie at all. I think the the point of the movie was it was the solution to a puzzle. The puzzle being what has made up all of the best horror slasher films to date. What are what do what are the elements that all of them have and how on earth can you attempt to do that in a modern age when we're all wise to the formula now? And they found a brilliant solution to step outside the formula, but watch the formula execute flawlessly at the same time. And it was self-referential, uh, it was light, and uh, he- here's the problem, is above all, I found it a very light horror movie, and it can't be a light horror movie if it's also arrogant. So that's why I have a hard time I don't finding think it that arrogant that's true. at all. I don't, that, that, I don't think that those two things are mutually exclusive. I do. How? Uh, because uh, freaking Lewis Black is not light. He's arrogant. And uh, you take, take anyone who's got an arrogance to them, and they're not light. Who's light and arrogant? John Stewart's glib and arrogant. That's light I, and arrogant. I didn't ask about glib. I asked about light. Well, what would you... I mean, like, I don't, I, I don't see that tone is... Like, the tone and the message, I think, are two different things. You can have a light, arrogant point easily. I mean, and also, I don't think that necessarily it's a light movie. I think it's a fairly weighty movie in terms of message. It's trying, every single thing that they do is trying to say something. It's a commentary on something. Like, why are there these other, like, they go through this crazy scenario where uh, all these other countries, all of which have had booms in horror movies over the past 15 years. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you you thought it was a pro-U.S. in your face thing. No. It's saying that we've all sucked, that the genre is dead, and all these other people who have done it well also suck at it, and we, the originators of it, man, I think you've uh, read way have too many. dropped the ball the worst. I, well, I think you've read way too much into it. I if by that, that you mean it's a post-deconstructionist critique of form and meme, I will agree with you. Yes, That's the I would agree with that. Episode. <laughs> the title of the episode. I, uh, I, but I don't think that's arrogant. I think it's just saying, like, you know, we've we've gone through the tropes. I yeah. mean, I guess it's 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 saying it's the. I mean, in a way, you don't find it to be a movie that declares a certain kind of thing dead by way of the fact that they not have in the least. I don't and not in the least. Critique is the same fact, as declaring I say, dead. I would say the reverse. I would say that if there's a message in it, it's that it's immortal. It's like. It's like, this is what is best. There's a reason this keeps popping up because this is what we are built to want. And that is why we are giving it to you again, but we're giving it to you with this very self-referential way of, of saying, we know we are giving you the formula. And we are telling you that there is a formula as we're giving it to you. If anything, it's, a, it's respecting the audience, yeah. in my opinion. It, it says, it respect- no, it I, says I think, I think we it can make a very audience. good horror it's, it's film the, still, it's the, but we know that you understand how this meme works, so we're going to poke holes in it and know that you'll appreciate that and get a get a kick out of it the way you get a kick out of any parody. It okay, is, right, it is right. the I, cinematic I think, equivalent. I think, I think, can I separate two points? All right. I think when I say it's arrogant, I think that it is arrogant in its message. I don't think it's being arrogant to the audience. I don't think it's being condescending to the audience. Mm. I think it is it is a arrogant point made very, very well and entertaining to the audience. But that does not mean that I can't think that the conclusions they've drawn are Arrogant. Well, the conclusions like they've the drawn are that if I we like don't very continue much. to make good horror films, the old ones will destroy us all. <laughs> they, uh, I hated that they call them the ancient ones and not the old ones. Oh, uh, yeah, I, right. I, they, I, did they, call they, the they should have ones. gone the H.P. Lovecraft route. But uh, okay, so tell me this, and maybe this will be the distinction on on how we think of these these titles. Would to me, this was the cinematic equivalent of Penn and Teller's "Look Simple, Doesn't It?" routine. In that it uh, that that routine is extraordinarily self-referential. In that you know, Pel- Teller walks out and you know puts out a cigarette, lights a new one, and uh, and and then they deconstruct it to show how the entire thing was a bunch of sleight of hand with misdirection and substitution and so on. It was extraordinarily self-referential. Is that an arrogant magic routine, in in your definition? 
Uh, I certainly think it is a a balls on the table statement about Penn and Teller, and I think that Penn and Teller are there. I mean, they they were the bad boys of magic. They are the I mean, especially in their heyday when that was one of their signature bits. They were a certain level of arrogance of punk rock kind of arrogance was part of their act. So it was a. I, I think I, I get what you're saying. Arrogant, not in a like you're a douche and and you know evil, arrogant bastard kind of way, but arrogant in a I'm assuming I know a lot about this sort of way, which but, is why the way Penn and Teller are arrogant. Well, I guess. Yeah. I guess here, here's what's to a point in saying that it's it's uh, invalidating. Here, yeah, here, but I don't think it goes to that point. That's the only place I disagree with you. Okay. Yeah. Here, here's here's my. My where I differ from you is I don't feel like you can be ar- arrogant if you respect someone else enough to let them in on the secret. Like if I take you backstage and I teach you exactly how one of the mind reading tricks works, that's not me being arrogant. That's me respecting you enough to let you in on the inside mm-hmm. and to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing when I'm doing it. That's not arrogant. And likewise, this movie respected the audience enough to say, look, you know what a slasher movie looks like. We respect you enough that we're going to pull outside and say these are the archetypes and here's why we're doing it. No, I mean, I guess... That's not you, arrogance you, to me. You, you, you seem to think that arrogance Josh implies a disrespect Wolf to the scholar. audience. Somebody I'm put that saying. out in the chat room. Tensor guy just said, <laughs> hey, look, it's the scholar, the jock, and the fool. <laughs> All good. we need is a bird. We need, we need, we need to get... And Sarah Lane and Veronica Belmont. <laughs> <laughs> not saying, not saying fight. who's going to play what. Uh, apparently there was something really clever uh, at the Comedy Awards they just recorded but is yet to air on Comedy Central for the uh, best stand-up special of the year. Uh, Chris Rock of the five nominees came out and said, three of these guys are really funny. One of them used to be funny and one's never been funny. <laughs> Here are the results. And then just never said... Who is what? Who is what? what? <laughs> That's brilliant. That's cowardice. Name <laughs> that <laughs> arrogance. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna wrap this thing up. Do we have any other uh, any other business to do? No. Yeah. Guys, I'm glad you enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun for me. I hope it was any good at all. Listen. These are some great photos that we got. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Tom, Tom's like, it's really important that Leo never hear about this evening. <laughs> it's really important that Leo was watching the whole time. <laughs> I didn't think hi. it was that bad oh, was until great. I saw the audience's reaction. I was like, oh, maybe oh. I shouldn't say that. Oh, but that's, 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 what, that's what they always do. I know. That's, that's, that's their... What? Actually, and then you can speak. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just lost it. I can't say jack off a goat. What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, well, that's that's wrong. I don't Russia. want to be right. <laughs> In Soviet Union, go to the... <laughs> uh, here, here's the thing. Is you can't, it's, it's giggling in church is so much better, and it's got to be forbidden for it to be funny. And yeah, that's yeah. The, look... Uh, a wise man once told us that you get the chat realm you deserve, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and that person was you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever read the um, Shakespearean version of the Big Lebowski? No. Uh, Tale of Two Lebowskis. No. Uh, the Knave and the. Oh my god. No, that's awesome. We should do a dramatic reading of. We should the, do a podcast. Oh crap! <laughs> I gotta do the morning show tomorrow. What time? In the morning. 7.50 a.m. Pacific. What? Scott Johnson. Oh. oh, yeah, you're in the first hour on Morning yeah. Stream, right? Yeah. So you got to get moved back to that last spot. Like I, I know, am. right? That's, that's the well, key. No, I'm, I'm on the last spot. It's Pacific time. What? what? Yeah. What? Oh, God damn it. It means I'm going to have to get up actually, at Actually, I'm, I'm not at 7.50. And... I'm at like 8.10. Okay, yeah. But still, it is the last half hour yes <laughs> god damn it this is the funniest chat room in the world uh they really they do. are they, cool. they are not even jokingly it's like totally the natural what happens between a man and 
Don't play that. Brian, Brian, stop that. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the fourth bit. All right, here we go. Seriously, take us out with this. I can't believe Tom has never seen this. Best part, Justin, it's only 9 p.m. where you're moving to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's effing party. Let's up and take a nap and go to sleep. Yay, naps. Totally reasonable to take a nap. Fully reasonable. Here, take it. Heirat oder nicht heirat. Das ist nicht mehr die Frage. Wait, you showed me this on frame right Heirat oder nicht heirat. You got three, you got... You want me to switch to it? Yes. Okay, go. Das ist nicht mehr die Frage. Die Augen erzählen der Welt, dass sie verliebt sind. Bei vollem Verstand. Copy, T or copy. Think me. All right, guys, that's it. Had a great evening. Love you guys. Bye bye. Peace. Peace out for the night. Wait, wait, here, 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 that are so goddamn funny that I honestly think like I would rather get canceled than lose tonight in my life. I know, but I'm just saying it was a really fun time. No, that was fun. That was really good. Where are you staying now? Um. Well, funny thing that. Uh, do you know one hotel near Oakland that has reliable Wi-Fi? Like, no. it is unreal. Like, I will stay in an absolute shitbag hotel if it just could promise me a real consistent internet. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know any of the hotels. And when you call them, they're all like, you're like, do you have, do you have what speed internet do they have? They're like, well, it's wireless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, it's that's fast. not an answer. Yeah. That's not. It's a big, fast one. <laughs> that means you might. Uh, yeah, and so, and so, uh, point is it leads me like tonight I'm actually gonna stay at the, the Sheraton uh, which is more expensive than I'd like but at least I know what kind of internet I have to be honest I think tomorrow night I'm gonna stay at the Four Points in San Rafael oh really I think I'm gonna stay in a different hotel every night and at least I'm not tied to wireless the internet shitty yeah is that weird it's a little far well I mean I'll just stay there yeah so.